Morris Lapidus um, had a falling out with the American Institute of Architects you know, because they said his staircases to nowhere were frivolous and so um, the Historic Preservation Board back then was setting up on Ocean Drive on 10th and Ocean, MDPL, Randall Robinson and Terry D'Amico and I said why don't you since you have contact with Morris, you know, he wouldn't return our phone calls. <laughs> Why don't you ask him and invite him to come and speak? And this was in the early 90s when we were trying to promote MIMO, when we were trying to create uh, Lincoln Road, uh, you know, and create, you know, the signatures of the Fountain Blue and the Eden Rock, which are all Morris Lapidus signatures. And so that's what we did. Um, I brought Morris Lapidus, and um, it was nice. And that is so relevant because even in today's world, you know, we design today places where we call them selfie spots, mm -hmm. where people will go and they'll take selfies of themselves. Um, Calatrava just finished a building which was highly critiqued in Ground Zero, but it's one of the most photographed building in that whole um, new development area. And it is the same thought process, if you will, of what Morris Lapidus was thinking about, is the stage set and the theatrics of design and architecture, which always existed. To the days of the Greeks and how they presented their um, gods in the buildings and how you would enter and see the God upon arrival, or whether you go see David's statue um, in the museum. David is a small man of stature, but his composition and his physical appearance as a statue raised up in the air is for you to appreciate it in the most dramatic fashion. And drama and theatrics is very important in our business. That's why people value individuals who can think about all those elements, meaning historic and the theatrics and, and stage setting and environment. It, it, it all becomes part and parcel of what makes a better design and a better building. Look, many architects do not work with other architects. I find it complimentary that I have had the, the opportunities to work with people who I like and respect and love. You know, people like Morris Lapidus, yeah. Richard Meyer, Renzo Piano, they're unique individuals and they are different than me and they're different from each other but together as a group you make a greater product and project which is like a movie it's made of multiple individuals and uh, just like this piece that you're doing right here there's people talking to you, there's people photographing you, there's people setting it up, it's not. And the chemistry of the people, of the conversations that you have is unique for that point in time. And if you're lucky enough to capture it and be lucky enough in the building to capture it so it's successful, then he who benefits from it, yes, the developer benefits if they know how to run their business, but ultimately the people who live in it um, are the ones that benefit the most. You know, when people call you up and say, you know, Kobe, I like leave, living in the Capri building in Miami Beach or the Grand Venetian or I went to the one hotel and it's nice. You know, that's the highest compliment that one can get as an architect. Um, it's the highest uh, reward that you can get uh, by strangers or people that you know.